Can imperfection be the key to unlocking a deeper, more profound appreciation for the world we live in? What if imperfection wasn't something to hide, but a source of beauty waiting to be discovered? Imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete, describes wabi-sabi. Its roots are found in Zen Buddhism and Taoism. It was fashioned in Japanese culture by the Zen priest Murata Juko, who replaced the popular gold, jade, and porcelain tea service with plain, rough, wooden, and clay instruments. By embracing the three basic truths that nothing is flawless, nothing is finished, and nothing lasts, wabi-sabi fosters everything that is genuine, realizing that everything in nature is flawed and that its flaws are what make it beautiful. Furthermore, humans are a part of nature. Take a look at the cloud image, for instance. No lines that are straight, not precisely symmetrical. However, it is quite beautiful. Realizing the same thing about ourselves is our task. Our physical forms are flawed and transient. Our minds are also the same. Not only that, though. Our flaws are what make us beautiful. When we make errors, when we speak the incorrect thing or say it in the wrong way, it is okay, as we are inherently flawed beings. So let's be even more authentic and take inspiration from nature. Let's attempt a few more daring feats and make a few more errors. Let's deliver that speech, write that book, go on that vacation, and quit that job. We could stumble, make errors, and topple over. That's not only acceptable, it's a necessary aspect of life. I have been trying to incorporate wabi-sabi into my own mindfulness practice. Being mindful encourages us to experience things as they are and to hold off on making quick judgments. All of your observations and experiences are filtered through a cheerful lens when you accept things for their imperfections and transience, used in poetry, ceramics, Japanese arts, garden design, tea gardens, and more. Meditation and wabi-sabi. Being mindful and practicing wabi-sabi both emphasize how important it is to be in the present. While mindfulness does this by being aware of one's own mental and emotional emotions, wabi-sabi sees beauty in the faults of things, the environment, and life itself. Both ideas promote acceptance. Mindfulness promotes accepting one's own thoughts and feelings without passing judgment, while wabi-sabi embraces the flaws in the outside world. Wabi-sabi's love of minimalism and the beauty in the simple is consistent with mindfulness, which frequently stresses living simply and concentrating on what's important. In summary, while wabi-sabi is more focused on aesthetics and the external world, and mindfulness is centered on internal mental processes, both share common themes of presence, acceptance, and finding beauty in the simple and imperfect aspects of life. Integrating these concepts can contribute to a more mindful and appreciative way of living. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.